Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we are already flying in this zone. Yeah, uh, the most pointless zone ever. Yeah, you do like two quests here and you suddenly have access to literally everything you need to be able to fly. Yeah, kind of lame if you ask me. But we have another problem on our hands. Shorty Pants, what are we gonna do now? Yeah, it's too bad we can't have just left him here for like how many goddamn weeks, you know? It's like, oh, enough with the primal, we get a dragon to kill. It's fine, it's fine. Well, that was a rather quick walk back. Wait, something is amiss. You know, we could have just rolled on my griffin. Imperial troops. And they have already secured the area. Yeah, I can clearly see that. You know, it would be nice if the body was lower like sumo wrestlers or something, because they're like five times the size of uh, the Garleans. That would be funny. Reveal yourselves at once! Yeah, that's what you get for talking out loud, you schmuck. should have picked a better hiding spot. And there I was expecting more beast men. Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare, bitch. I thought his guardians responsible for the disappearance of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. Just as Wire observed, the Warrior of Light is wont to appear at the most inopportune time. Oh, don't, don't you mention that bitch. Come on, don't, 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 don't you even. The Warrior of Light? She who bested Van Balesar? Yeah, and about like a dozen or so primals? Yeah. Fear me, bitches. It would seem that the famous hero of Eosia seeks as his lord as well. Uh, kind of, sort of, yes and no. I'm just chasing somebody. You want to be friends? And my hair is clipping through my neck. Hardly unexpected. The secrets of the Alagans' power to bind icons to their will could scarcely fail to interest the scions of the Seventh Door. Yeah, but that's not why we're here. You know as well as we what will ensue should these insatiable creatures be allowed to roam free. That their very existence threatens the life of this star. We but disagree on the solution to the problem. Yeah, well, well maybe if you, I could have your help in, you know, getting rid of them when they appear, then maybe we can talk. Maybe. Genocide has ever been the Empire's favorite recourse. And that is why we will continue to oppose your every attempt to claim Eorzea. Shit, son. This is one of the moments I feel people tend to kind of just forget about that happened. Need I remind you that we are surrounded by guns. This is the Garlean Emperor we are talking about. And Alphano just pretty much told him to fuck off. Damn if his balls are not plated in absolute fucking steel right now. Holy shit. You do not hesitate to speak your mind, even when your every word could be your last. Alas, your sentiments betray the narrowness of your view. The fate of Eorzea and its inhabitants is of little concern next to the fate of the world. Yeah, stop con trying to conquer us and shit and then maybe we'll talk. It is my solemn charge as Emperor to bring the Icons to heal. If this requires the extermination of certain elements, then so be it. 
Ha, huh, funny. I could say the same thing about you and your cronies. So how about that? No, don't! They are not his thralls! Yeah, like that's really gonna work. Okay. I like how that guy's gun blade is sticking completely up in the air though. That's pretty funny. Where did that come from? From my butthole, sorry, I had tacos. Take cover! Oh, it's about time you joined us. Where the fuck did you get that thing? Your radiance. We must withdraw. Bro, uh, what are we looking at? Oh. Snap. Okay, how do you not notice something that big? Like, you can't really hide that thing. We shall meet again, warrior of light. On that you have my word. Okay, I can't take this scene seriously with my hair clipping through my neck like that. Oh my god. Aw, oh, but pull on the old smoke and mirror shit to run away, huh? Need to remind you that you guys had the fucking weapons? Surrounded, everything. So Garlemald too has designs on Azisla. But why would the Emperor himself elect to lead the expedition? Yeah, did we all forget that right before this whole Bismarck thing? Like, 20 minutes ago, um... We were here because- and we were invited to the village for dinner and crap because we saved one of their kind from the, uh... The Garleans, who we know were after the Archbishop, and we know where the Archbishop is fucking headed. Like, it shouldn't take a genius to put two and two together that, yeah, they're both after the same thing, essentially. Okay, you're petting that thing like it's a puppy. Well, where did you get that thing? How did you get it up here? And what the hell took you so long? Alright, at this point, Alpha you should not be surprised, okay? You literally were like 10 feet away from Harry's Fugger, okay? Creature, all this fucking shit. Yeah. That'll be fine. I'm pretty sure he knows what happened. You know, he was just kind of kidnapped. Yes, yes, I know. I, he, I know he means with the whole Bismarck thing. I'm just being silly. <sighs> so back to our other friends. Why they didn't follow us over here, I don't know. But maybe they had to make uh, emergency repairs or whatever. Or just making sure everything was okay after we, you know, kind of got fucking attacked by what's-her-face of an Asian. What's going on, guys? Yeah, we did. How where the fuck do you think they hid that thing? Yeah, we're fine. We fired on them first. It's cool. And then they decided to be a bunch of pussies and escape. Oh, come on, Sid, come on. Where is your faith in me? Just where is your faith in me? How many almost impossible things have I done and your worried little gunfire was gonna kill me? Not much happened, they fucking shot at us. Well, that's nice. Did they at least feed us dinner? I'm really hungry. 
You know, I kind of farted out those tacos, you know. I need a little bit more filling up. Cool, at least they didn't make an example out of somebody when they could have. Guess I can give them half a point for half a mercy point for that. Now Lucia, do you want to explain what the hell is going on? Like, you wanted to help us so bad, and then you kind of disappeared for a little while. Now you're here. Okay. Where the fuck did you get this Magitek armor? I'm asking Lucy a question, damn it. Alright, so she'll fixed up, yada yada, okay. News that might please us, huh? I would hope so, considering we're in a whole lot of shit right now. How did you get that thing to climb up this, this, this stair deck to that without breaking it? Well, I suppose, you know, Sid having drove one of those things before would kind of... I don't know. Um, I thought Wedge was in the engine room when that happened. I mean, I'm half kind of glad we were able to bullshit. La, da, da, da. Oh, oh, yeah, we can we can trail that trace that beam of light too and get directions from it. We're engineers after all. But which was down in the fucking engine room? <laughs> Minor plot hole. But whatever. Can we get some railings on this thing? I did not think that I would ever have occasion to pilot a suit of Magitek armor again. Least of all under these circumstances. Yes, you did because you wouldn't send it here. Duh. My full name is Lucia Go Junius, and I was born a citizen of Garlemald. Ah, that explains it. When we first met in Ishgard, I very nearly called you Livia. Now, Sid, that line is kind of pointless because, number one, we never actually saw what Livia looks like, and number two, not at one point did you ever make a comparison to Lucia being like, hmm, she looks kind of familiar or anything like that. Livia? Livia Sasjunius? The Tribunus who served under Gaius van Baelsar? Yes, and we we kind of killed her. Aye, she was my sister. Though we spent little time together. After our parents were killed in an uprising, we were sent to live in different households, setting us on separate paths. Livia felt at home on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. Then, Ishgard was... My mission. It was believed that Alagarn relics of great worth were stored in the vault, and I was sent to investigate. Though I was given little information at the time, I now suspect I was searching for the Kiwi but recently lost. And then I met Sir Emmerich. It was his usefulness to my mission which prompted me to approach him, but I soon found myself drawn to him for other reasons. He too was a prisoner of his past, judged for his heritage as a bastard son of the Archbishop. Yet unlike my sister and I, he did not curse his fate. He simply rose above it. In time, I came to realize that I had found a man worth following, and a new home besides. And when I subsequently confessed all to Sir Emmerich, he was good enough to accept me into his service. 
I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. It is your loyalty to your sister which concerns me. Another line that is bullshit and should never have been greenlit because number once does she mention actual loyalty to her sister, and number two, you have a goddamn sister too. Like, what the fuck, Alphanel? I have long been of the opinion that those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. My sister fought for her convictions and for those she held dear. So do I. So must we all. Well, I for one am happy to welcome a fellow Garlean to our merry band. Especially one who can make Magitek armor sing. Yeah, where the hell was she hiding this all this time? Chief, we should be getting close. Once we break through those clouds, we'll be right where the light was pointing. Right where Azizla should be. Hold on, everyone! You know, I would expect them to have, like, some kind of device that, you know, help us track this, you know, that they just whipped up out of the blue. So that we, you know, we could tell if we were close, rather than being like, oh, yeah, this this seems like the vague amount of distance we should go. Look! I think that's it! You know, the air up here is rather ew. You sure I'm not gonna get radiation poisoning from this or something? Cause I'm not liking the looks of the sky up here. Chief, is that? Is that what? Alagon, I. There's no mistaking their handiwork. Yeah, we knew this. Have you all not been paying attention to what we've been discussing for the past several episodes? What was that? A cursing of lack of railings in here. Some sort of barrier. Gee, I wonder. Maybe that's why we couldn't see from a distance and why people haven't known this place has existed for 5,000 years. She won't hold, Chief! She's breaking up! I wonder. Not your artillery propeller! Sid, it's no use. We must return to Ishgard and find another way. Or we could just back up about 20 feet first. God damn it all. Why do the Alagans always have to make everything so bloody complicated? Is there a reverse button on this thing? There should be. Sid, invent that. Why do we have to go all the way back to Ishgard, though? We could literally just go anywhere to figure out another plan. I mean, I suppose at this point we actually need repairs, but we could pretty much land anywhere. Uh, we kind of already went into that. He pretty much just flat out admitted to us himself. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hey, it's the Warrior of Light. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you're always up here when, when it's, you know, least advantageous to us. Oh, by the way, yeah, the science of the Seventh Dawn. Hmm, I wonder if you're after the whole primal um, capturing shit and whatnot. Gee, I wonder that's why they're there. I swear, these, half these characters don't pay a damn a bit of attention to what the hell is going on. Which, which, you just assume that Magitek armor's gender? Yeah, all they did was turn around. It's not like he did these massive evasive, evasive maneuvers or anything. Oh, Sid, you should be used to this by now. Yes! That would make sense why they called it a key. I mean, all we saw was a little beacon, but it would make sense that they would need it and not necessarily just need to see where the beam is firing. So good on you, Sid, for figuring that out.
Okay, nobody else has anything to say. Okay, so that's going to be it for this late episode. So thank you for watching, friends, and we'll discuss our plans for what the hell we're going to do and how to get into that place. Uh, cause, yeah, we got a problem on our hands. But we'll find a way. We always do. We get a bunch of brilliant people in the room. Mostly. I'm, I, I kind of feel really dumb in comparison to everyone here. But I'm the warrior of light. I'll make it through anything. I'm fine. So thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I shall see you next time.